everyone. This is a little, I'm just making sure that I'm actually uh, live here. It says that I am. So, hi, I'm so happy to be here. I'm Elizabeth Maria, and this is Intuitive Tuesdays with Elizabeth Maria. Um, the lighting's a little, you know, whatever. It is what it is, right? Um, say hello. Oh, wait, say hello to Kanish. I can never, like, figure out, like, what side. Um, you know, when I'm looking at the screen, but I'll figure it out eventually. You think I've been doing these videos for uh, a little over a year now. Um, I am so thankful to be here. It's been an eventful week uh, for me. I hope for you guys as well. Um, so much energy. My gosh, as we're moving in, you know, through the first month of January 2022, uh, we just had a full moon yesterday. I believe it was in Cancer, right? Um, you know, it's a really good time out there to hunker down, right? Um, this is a good time to go. I mean, it's always a good time to go within, but, you know, right now in January, I mean, there's all kinds of sickness floating around in the air and um you know it's just an excellent time to spend at home with your families with yourself whatever and uh you know just uh, focus on the blessings that are in your life and you know open yourself up in order to receive uh from the universe um, I'm not really sure what's going on with the lighting. I guess I eventually have to get like one of those circle lights or whatever, but I'm just, I can't worry about it right now. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I am, so like I said last week, I am going to start each, I've, you know, just decided to change it around a little bit. Um, and really just to highlight what Elizabeth Maria Unlimited has to offer, which is writing services, plant-based food advocacy, and intuitive guidance. So I'm going to start, um, I'm actually working on a new book of poetry. I'm really excited about, um, these are poems that came from um, a, uh, a month-long poetry challenge I did with um, the wonderful organization Tupelo Press last February. So this past weekend, um, I mean, I've been working on this book for a while, but uh, this past weekend, I really dug in and, and did, um, you know, just um, some edits and re-edits. So what I read today will probably change by the time it's in print. But, um, you know, it's, it's really a part of my process as a writer to... <sighs> to allow myself um, to be vulnerable and to, you know, put out um, and to, you know, to speak my, um, my words, you know, even if they're not like fully polished or whatever, um, I will say that, you know, in previous lifetimes within this lifetime, <laughs> I have definitely suffered from perfectionism. So, um, really that these lives are all about that for me anyways, you know, I hope that you guys get what you need out of, um, you know, listening to or tuning in, you know, even if you tune in for a minute or two, I hope what you hear is what you need to hear in your now moment. For me, the reason, one of the reasons why I do these weekly is, um, oh, it's to allow myself to be vulnerable, to be who I am in a public forum, um, and to own that and to, you know, walk through the uncomfortability of imperfection. Um, uh, because, you know, guys, we are all, hey, Tara, I'm so glad you made it. Woo, woo, woo. Because, um, you know, we are all imperfect. We're perfectly imperfect. And, um, you know, I do not put myself on any kind of fucking, excuse my language, pedestal. <laughs> I am right there, you know, swimming through the muck with everyone. So, uh, um, you know, so I do this. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, it's a good checks and balances for myself. Um, anyways, so I'm going to start again with a poem. And um, 
the one that I decided to read is called Hands of Grace. And this is a collection of poems that basically um, is a celebration of a um, hundred years of black visual art. And so this poem is in response to a uh, visual artist by the name of Henry Tanner. He was born in 1859. And, um, and here we go. Hands of Grace. There are landscapes in your hands, whole universes compressed down to moments, sketched in graphite and clay, the elements of inspired action, even your tools, Conte crowns, manifested of need, ease, and controlled grades of harshness. The pressure eventually combusts and the desire to create expression of survival. Your hands have a touch of grace. Christ emits through fingertips, spreads light in our world. Yay. Ooh, I love that little chill I get when I read that poem. Um, yeah, so, you know, this, I, I thought that it also really, um, you know, spoke to what I'm doing here um, about creation. You know, we are all here. We are all creators, right? Um, you know, I mean, that's what we do as humans is, you know, we think thoughts about what it is we want and then we make it happen, right? And our hands, our bodies, our physical bodies are such a, you know, it's a, it's a big part of that and they're all divine, right? And so, um, writing that poem was a big meditation for me, um, and editing it and going back to it has been likewise a meditation, um, you know, and, and a, I guess a, uh, a way that I can show my gratitude for my own physical form here. Um, okay, so that's the writing. Moving on to my plant-based advocacy. I, um, I actually had the opportunity this week to work with um, a client um, about some of his health concerns. And um, when I was talking to him, um, and this is someone that I would say falls maybe somewhere in the um, lower socioeconomic bracket. And um, I was talking to him about um, how, you know, really plant-based health advocacy, it is, it is like social justice advocacy because we can heal ourselves and we can heal our bodies through food, right? And so I just, I wanted to, to just uh, briefly, and if you guys ever look at my YouTube videos, I actually have a video where I talk about it, but I wanted to talk to you guys about just really easy way to get your daily vitamins. You don't have to go out and buy like $50 bottles of like expensive, you know, freaking vitamins. You can get it in your daily food. Um, that's what I do on the daily, you know, I, I make my kale smoothies. I mean, and it doesn't have to break the, break the bank either. Um, and that's important. And you can, you know, buy food with your food stamps or you can grow it. Right. And so, um, so I think it's really important for us to take back our own ability to heal ourselves through just the foods that we're eating. So I did, I wanted to just, uh, talk just a little bit about hemp hearts today because this is my jam guys i've been um really using um hemp as a, a type of vitamin really for a couple years now and um you know if you guys are anything like me i mean my god like the 90s were a complete blur i have uh <laughs> not always been really nice to my body so um you know and i'm getting on up there so it needs its daily vitamins my beautiful body needs the daily vitamins so uh 
So I just make like a quick, really quick smoothie. Um, and I use what I have on hand. I always, bananas are, you know, they're pretty cheap or whatever. So I get bananas. Plus they're not like heavily pesticide, you know, whatever. Um, and I'll use like a scoop of peanut butter. And I don't even use like, a, you know, any kind of nut milk. I just put ice and water and, and then some kale, a little cinnamon, um, what else? A little bit of honey and uh, I, you know, a big handful of kale. And then, cause kale is, I mean, it's so good. Lots of iron um, and all the dark le green leafy vegetables, but also hemp seeds. Um, and so hemp seeds, like, I just want to read you guys, look at this, like, uh, calcium 2% and this is in four tablespoons or no three tablespoons iron 20% of your daily iron potassium 8% thiamine riboflavin all the B vitamins folate phosphor phosphorus magnesium and um, you know especially as we age you know um, magnesium is so important and I mean really our Western diet just like leaches out all of the good vitamins and so you know and the cool thing about hemp seeds I mean you can just put it on anything so if you guys are not familiar with um, hemp seeds I encourage you to look them up find them you can buy them at you know pretty much any store um, nowadays I've seen them everywhere I mean we have like a food I think it's food line or something right down the street for me and I've seen them there so um, they are just a little pricey, but again, all you need is three tablespoons. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can speak them on salads, whatever, but just think about incorporating them in your diet. It will help. And, um, yeah, that's my plant-based advocacy um, suggestions for the day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and definitely, like, you know, when you guys watch this or if you do or whatever, uh, tell me if you like the incorporation of other parts of Elizabeth uh, Maria Unlimited because, um, you know, I'm just playing around with it and seeing, seeing what you guys like and what I like and what feels good and natural and everything. Um, okay. So now moving into intuitive guidance and I'm real excited today. I want to show you guys. Oh, and we are listening to um, so the Tibetan bell music. I'm really into sound healing and, um, you know, actually, uh, Tara, I believe you were the one that really started talking to me about um, sound healing a few years ago. So it, I mean, every day I listen to Oh, just, you know, chakra cleansing music. Um, again, you know, I, I feel like that my body, actually, I don't feel like I know that my body is in the process of healing. Um, you know, much like our mother earth is in the process of healing and, uh, you know, and ascending, we are also physically, mentally, and spiritually healing. And, um, you know, as someone that offers guidance, you know, I, I really have to like keep on letting everyone know that I'm walking through this process as well. I am not a freaking saint. <laughs> Those that know me know that that's the truth. Um, you know, I am, um, oh, I'm healing. I am walking through, rising up, you know, experiencing, learning, staying open to the process, um, and just enjoying it so much. Um, before we get into the tarot reading, I wanted to show you guys that my daughter, look how beautiful, she gave me this little bowl for uh, Christmas. Let's see the inside of it. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to dong it. <laughs> Um, and I haven't like totally learned how to, you know, play it like, like all like, you know, meditative, but I like to just kind of hit it. And so in the mornings, what I do as a morning ritual, I light my candles, you know, I think I always thank God, uh, great spirit for all of the wonderful blessings that are in my life. And then at the end of it, I do the little, the little gong, I guess. So, you know, if you're watching this, you know, this might be a good time just to <sighs> breathe into it, you know, just 
So nicely signed. Thank you, great spirit. There's actually a pillow. I'm going to do it one more time with the pillow because I think that the pillow will make the sound a little bit better. Okay, so we'll try again. I love it. I love it. I can just feel it through my body. It just makes me feel so good. Um, so thank you, daughter, for giving that to me. For you know, the, I really we celebrate the winter solstice, but whatever. Um, I, I'm a conditioned American <laughs> as well, so I just Christmas. Anyway, I love ugly sweaters too. <laughs> Oh my God, guys! Y'all know I'm such a freaking dork. Oh, and I love it. I love it. I am what I am. Um. Anyways, okay. So, oh, before I get into the um the tarot reading for the week, I wanted to tell you guys a really funny story. Um. So my guides definitely have a sense of humor, just like me. And um, I you know like last year, I mean, I was talking with them. I mean, cause I you know I'm I don't know I'm pretty you know probably out there in some ways, but I definitely, um, I talk to my guides on the daily, you know, all day, every day. They come to me um, really all the time, you know, anytime. I mean, they're around me all the time. And, uh, and so last year I said, guides, like, I'm not really 100% understanding these symbols and signs and synchronicities you're sending to me. So I need you to get really, really, really specific with me. Okay, guys, I'm a little bit of a slow learner here. And I like, I need all the help I can get. And it was so funny, because I mean, they did like, it just things started showing up in the most obvious way. You know, it's like, literally like slap me across the face i'm like no elizabeth we said to take a right you know and i'm still like are you sure are you sure now great spirit <laughs> you know maybe i need to walk through hell a little bit longer just to make sure that i'm on the right track um anyways so uh i've been asking my guides recently i've been working on opening up in order to receive you know the abundance and all of my desires that i have put out um you know into the ethers that i want to manifest right because that's why we're here right and um and one of the things that i've been working on is uh thinking about you know planting a garden this spring and everything so earlier today I was, um, no, I mean, honestly, like my whole life is kind of like a walking, like, like meditative mystery school thing, you know? And I was listening to, I was actually listening to Abraham Hicks and she was talking about like how to, you know, basically instruct your guides to bring you what you're ready for. Right. Um, because for me, you know, and, and it really makes sense. Like, um, I don't want, you know, she does this wonderful analogy. Like you go to a buffet, you're not going to eat everything on the buffet all at once. Right. Uh, so likewise with, you know, any type of manifestation, it's a process, right. And, um, source God, you know, our frequency matches us up with what we are ready to experience, right? And so I have a tendency, you know, I have a lot of uh, divine feminine energy. And so my visions go like 10 years down the line and I see like the finish line, <laughs> you know, I see it like all materialized, like way down the line. And so this past year, it's been really getting me back into the day, the hour, the moment, you know, um, and taking each endeavor inch by inch, right? I mean, it's so cliche to say, but Rome wasn't built in a day. And, um, and I'm at the beginning of this new 
um, manifestation of Elizabeth. And, um, and I know that, and I am learning to appreciate and to love, you know, exactly where I'm at. Right. And so anyway, so earlier, this was definitely a synchronicity and, you know, my guides like having their sense of humor. So earlier I was listening to that video and, um, and she says, and this is what Esther Hicks says. She said, what you can ask your guides, you can say, deliver to me now what I'm a vibrational match to. And so I was like, oh, that's great. You know, I'm thinking, okay, my millions is coming today, damn it. I'm freaking ready, you know? And uh, so I write it down and I'm like saying it out loud. I'm like, deliver to me now, God, what I'm a vibrational match to, right? And so, you know, I get all like, you know, spiritual about it. Deliver to me now, God, what I am a vibrational match to. And um, and so then I sit down and I decide to check my uh, email. So I get on my email and it says, I it says, you're a winner. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because I, I had entered a bunch of contests through Instagram in December. And uh, I was third place winner <laughs> third place winner for a uh it's like a garden company and i won a pack of seeds <laughs> and i mean i shit you guys not like i wrote down deliver to me now what i'm a vibrational match for i click on my email and I have won a pack of seeds. <laughs> and honestly, it kind of pissed me off. You know, my ego was like, third place? What the fuck? Third place, you know, my competitive nature. And then um, it just hit me, you know, I was like, oh my God, I saw the connection. I saw, and it's so funny, you know, cause that's where I'm at. I am the little seedling, you know, and um, I'm so grateful for it because, you know, you got to plant the seed. You got to not worry about it, right? And you got to let it do, let it do its thing. And that's honestly what I'm doing right now, right? I got a lot of seeds that I'm planting, I'm putting out there, you know, and, um, and my job in the daily, in the moment and the now is just to sit back and know and have faith and have belief that my seeds are going to grow. So that is my story today. Um, I love my guide. Such a sense of humor. I was like third place in a pack of seeds. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, I'm a Leo. I have so much ego. Uh, I love it. But, uh, you know, my guides like to check me and, uh, and it's so funny because I, I have, I have, you know, guides in the ether and guides here on, uh, this planet. And, uh, one of my guides here is my therapist. And, um, early, I had a session with her early, earlier today. And, um, I told her, I was like, you know, I feel like, I, like the chrysalis has like opened and the little butterfly and she's sticking her head out she's starting to look around you know she, the, the wings are still like a little bit you know ooey gooey so it's not full flight yet you know but it's like it's getting there and um and that's what I told her this morning and then you know I got a pack of seeds this afternoon I love it I mean you can't make this shit up it's so beautiful thank you great spirit for my seeds thank you for showing me what I'm vibrationally ready for Ah, and I'm real excited about the seeds. Um, it's a beautiful gift to plant in my garden, in my new place. Um, okay, guys, so I've been talking, talking, talking. Let me get into this week's reading. Uh, so because I've changed the format on this, what I'm going to do is a, um, a three-card collective reading 
Um, so this reading is, you know, for the people that I, you know, usually that I connect with on Facebook. Um, this is, you know, really the energies that are going on. And I will, you know, in, in our world, um, but specifically, you know, here in America, just where our collective consciousness is at the moment. Um, I will say that, you know, with any type of divination tool, um, you know, it's, it picks up my en energy, right? And so um, it's all about, and this is for anyone, and I, you know, and I'm not, sorry, I'm, I'm not, sorry, not sorry, I'm speaking in half sentences, <laughs> but, uh, um, you know, using a divination tool to connect with vibrant, you know, vibration, anyone can do this, right? It's just all about tapping in. Um, and so when you work with someone, you know, who's a tarot reader or, you know, whatnot, um, do know that you are getting, you know, message messages from the ethers, but you're also getting them translated through who is reading the cards, right? And so for this reading, that's me. Um, you know, so as always, take what you want. You know, if it doesn't resonate with you, it's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, so again, this is a collective message. And then at the end, I will also pull an Ascended Master card for us to meditate with this week. Um, let's just get into it. Oh, thank you, Great Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be conduit. Allow me to connect. Oh gosh, a lot of them just fell this time. Let's see what happened. Oh, oops. oh wow. I'm just using this one. Okay, so let's see what we got here. And uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna use two different books this week. Um, you know, I always use my everyday tarot book and then for kind of an extended understanding, um, I will use <clears throat> this uh, the Ultimate Guide to Tarot right here. Okay, so the first, um, the first card that we have for this week, and hold on one second, let me get there in my books, is the Six of Cups. Let me show you. Okay. Six of Cups. And so this is the element of water. Um, it's the Astrological Association is the Sun and Scorpio. Uh, this is also about the number six, okay? And so the key meanings with this card are harmony, childhood, reconciliation. Mm, that's a good word. So the Giddy uh, Tarot says, you are filled with happy memories from the past like reuniting with childhood friends or high school crushes. You know, it's really weird because I had a dream last night about two ex-boyfriends of mine. Huh, very interesting. Um, you bring harmony and cooperation to your current relationships. Okay, and so this is a time for good things coming from the past, guys. Um, so, you know, because, and honest, I mean, not all cycles are, I mean, you know, we have positive cycles, right, that come, that come back. So, um, reunion parties, reconnecting with old friends, 
and maybe more distant uh, family members. And it's this idea of going back to your roots. Um, so this card right here, the Six of Cups, this can predict a trip home or to a place with fond memories. In some way, the past returns to help you in the present. Two, as conversations and reminiscing with old friends or contacts. This can create seeds, hmm, seeds, seeds for a new idea or a new approach. Okay, guys, so this is the energy that we're in, kind of moving out of right now. And so really this reconnection with the past. Hmm, okay. Um, and then after I read them all, then I'll, you know, kind of summon up what I'm, what I'm feeling about it. Um, okay. And let's see, we have for the next card, we have the four of swords. And so swords have been, swords and knives have been coming to me a lot, um, recently. And, uh, so this is interesting. So this is the Astrological Association is Jupiter and Libra. And this is associated with the number four, um, which I mean, I guess the four source. <laughs> but anyways, um, so the four of swords has the meaning of time out. So you may be taking a rest from work, a personal project, or a relationship. The card often comes up in readings in the past and present position to show taking a break from a relationship and also the need for recovery from illness or an operation. And so this is the energy that we're presently in. And this makes sense. I mean, especially, you know, in uh, the month of January, I mean, there's a lot of I mean, you know, not even just the vid, but all kinds of illness. I mean, because, you know, we remember that there is the thing called the flu as well. And that, um, I shouldn't laugh at that. That has been affecting a lot of people as well, you know, as uh, as is like stomach issues, strep throats, all kinds of funky stuff in the atmosphere right now, right? And so this is really about um, recovering from stress, right? And so again, just like I said at the beginning of this video, this is the time to, you know, go within, to rest, to heal, right? Give yourself a break, take a nap, take a nap. Um, let's see what uh, my bitty book says. Um, you have reached your first milestone and now you need to recharge your energy before the next phase begins. And so once again, this is asking you guys to take a break, clear your mind, okay? Do some meditation. Um, okay, and so the last card that we have for this week is the Two of Wands. So hold on one second, let me get there. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we have fire, right? And this is all about Mars in Aries. And so the two of wands shows you making plans and moving forward. So again, for the third card, for those of you that are new, um, the third card is really what we're moving into and kind of takes us into next week. And so um, this shows you making plans and moving forward. So Travel arrangements are one meaning of the card. In your work, you are gaining influence and proving your worth. In return, you receive good support and advice. The card can also show you new creative partnerships and beginning a new project or enterprise. Okay, so this is excellent. So, you know, we start off with 
you know, really like looking back, looking back, right? And seeing, because again, when we look back, um, you know, a lot of people like stay out of the past because, you know, you usually are looking at negative things that happen, but there's also some beautiful relationships from the past that, you know, that may help you plant the seeds for future endeavors. Um, right now, currently, this is a time for you guys to, you know, just be gentle, be gentle with yourselves. Okay. Take a nap, meditate, love yourself, give yourself a hug. I'm going to do that right now. <sighs> and of course we have the two of wands moving in. You are doing excellent. We are all right. We are all doing the work. We're taking the action, right? Remember that, you know, taking action isn't always, doesn't always have to, it's, it's not always physical, it's mental, right? So that, so taking the time to self care, to take a nap, to do some meditation, that is taking action, right? And so we're all leveling up right now right and so this card is just you know showing you that we're at the beginning of a beautiful beautiful new process and that makes sense uh definitely you know being in the month of january i will end with a ascended master card last week we had merlin here we go there's merlin and uh let's see this week What's it going to be, Great Spirit? Uh, what's it going to be? Oh, okay. Oh, we have Lakshmi. And how perfect is that? Because just earlier today, I was listening to um, a channeler, actually, and he was talking about Lakshmi. And so the flow of prosperity. I love it. I love it. Let's look this up. Page 34. So Lakshmi is a Hindu goddess of prosperity. Look at her. Look how beautiful. Um, she helps us overcome financial fears and tap into the river of abundance that's available to everyone. How beautiful. Um, Lakshmi is in the financial corner according to feng shui principles. This is the left rear corner of your home or office um, as you stand looking inward from the front door. Call upon Lakshmi to help transmute money worries into financial flow. I love it. I love it. Lakshmi, yes. And so if you are um, unfamiliar with Lakshmi, as a um, ascended master, as a guide, then I encourage you to look her up. Um, you know, it's interesting. Usually, whatever card I pick, I mean, I, I put them up in my office, and throughout the week, I just get, you know, all kinds of really cool synchronicities um, about these ascended masters. So, um, so look her up, learn more about how Lakshmi can help you with your financial money flow. I love it. I love it. And, um, yeah, guys, so that's it for today. If, um, if you want to learn more about me and Elizabeth Maria Unlimited, please check out my website. Um, if you want to support what I'm doing on here, I've also have a link to my Patreon. Uh, there's different levels of way that you can support me. So check it out. And as always, so much love, guys. Um, we are all doing wonderfully. So just, you know, keep on keeping on and love yourself. Bye.